PET involves injecting a radio tracer into the body and then using the scanner to see where it goes. And the advantage of that is that you're imaging the function of the body rather than the anatomy. But nowadays, with the, the PET CT scanner, we get both. So we have a combined CT scan for the anatomy, and the PET scan tells us about the function of what's going on. What I've done is develop some software to reposition the CT scan so it matches the PET scan. We can correct the image better and have a more sensitive and specific test. The CT scan has two purposes in this study. One is to make the PET image better. If you know where the tissue is when you reconstruct the PET image, you can make for a much more accurate uh, distribution of blood flow in, in the heart. The other is the CT has information itself. If you have, uh, you're looking at the coronary arteries or you're looking for calcium in the heart, you can do all of that in the same study. We can do this test to tell whether there is difficulty in the heart. If there is, they can go on to additional treatment. But if the heart is okay, we can treat them medically without any further invasive procedures. The study itself is much cheaper than a, an operation, which is essentially what the catheter is. And it is also much safer for the patient. There, there are no complicating, there are no morbid risks to doing this study.